going to demonstrate how you install memory into a new mid-2007 Apple Intel iMac. The procedure is the same for the 20 or the 24 inch machine. I've done a couple of things here that aren't going to be shown that you need to start off by doing. First you need to clear a space, I'd suggest like a kitchen table or a dining room table, and place a bath towel on the, the table to protect the face of the iMac. Take the iMac and place it flat face down on that towel. And if you turn the, to look at the bottom, and I'll zoom in here so you can see, the steps to do this are outlined in a silk screen right on the bottom of the aluminum foot. The first thing that you need to do if you look on the left picture here is remove an aluminum plate that has one Phillips screw securing that cover over the memory slots and then uh, remove the memory or remove a little flip lever basically of uh, plastic that's in the way that's used to remove an existing piece of memory and I'll demonstrate that also. Install the new memory and then reattach the aluminum plate. I'm going to lift up the foot here, it's hinged, and tilt the camera down a little bit so you can see the, the cover. And right here is the cover. Like I said, there's one Phillips screw in the center and uh, Apple has chosen to use a, a larger Phillips screw than they do on the majority of their computers and this is so most homeowners would have a, a screwdriver that would fit say like a drywall screw that's actually the size of the slot that would be a Phillips P2 or a P1 will uh, remove it. I'm going to take my screwdriver here and I'm going to remove the plate to expose the memory slots for you to see. right inside here we have the existing uh, that's a one gig module from the factory on the right side here and then over here there is no memory installed and the little removal device is just this little piece of plastic that flips up and this is a vast improvement over the uh, the devices that Apple used in the previous model machines which was a little gray lever that flipped uh, to the left and using a hinge motion would remove the memory. Well, in, in a lot of cases it would actually bind and the memory would come out only halfway on, say, the right side, the lever side, and you'd, you'd struggle with it and have to, to push the memory in and out a few times. Now, we're going to upgrade this machine to 4 gigs, so I'm going to take the factory 1 gig module out. If you wanted to just add more memory, either a 1 gig or a 2 gig chip, you could just go to the slot over here on the, the left side and add one chip, but I'll start by removing it. And all you have to do is take the little plastic lever and give a nice solid tug. I'm moving the iMac more than I'm pulling it out. There it goes, and you'll hear a little snap. And then the memory module will come straight out. Now notice the memory module came out this way. You can see the little notch. You have to line up the notches. And I'll zoom back up here on top if you do look on the silk screen that's on top here zoom out so you can see it. You can see right here that it does show the notch. So if you do forget which way it goes instead of struggling trying to put the memory in backwards you can always refer to the silk screen. To install the new memory and I'm going to install two gigs on each each bank here for a total of four gigs. All you do is set the memory in the slot, it slides all the way in and then a firm push will latch it in place and I'll do both of them at the same time. They make a little bit of a crunching or a snapping noise. You feel it with your thumbs more than anything. And then all you have to do is tuck the little tabs back in. And reapply the aluminum plate. Now the aluminum plate, you can see it slides around a lot, so you actually have to take the screwdriver and help start it to, to go in place. There it goes. And that's all there is to it to install memory in a mid-2007 Apple Intel iMac.